Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. This is Erin. 안녕하세요, 여러분. Erin입니다. Today is a little bit rough for me. I woke up from my depression and just not feeling well at all. But first thing first, I'm preparing lunch for my husband, and he's been wanting some bagels and cream cheese, so I'm packing that for him. Today is a special day. It's Kuma's birthday and I plan to bake him a cake for the first time. I've looked at all these recipes on Google and I found this spoiled dough cake recipe. I'll share the link with y'all. It looks delicious and the ingredients look very simple as well. I need the flour, baking soda, vegetable oil, peanut butter, apple sauce, pumpkin puree, one egg, and Greek yogurt. I'm crossing out all the ingredients I already have at home. So, it seems like I only need the apple sauce, pumpkin puree, and Greek yogurt. I don't feel like going anywhere today, so I'll order delivery at Whole Foods. But guess what? They don't have enough delivery people today, so there's no choice. I have to leave the house today, and it's already giving me anxiety. My doggies are up and ready to go outside for pee-pee time. Look at how cute Cookie's ears are. It's just flat flat like a little tiny wings. This is a little dog park we have in our apartment community. It has artificial grass and people usually keep it nice and clean. Cookie. Kuma, happy birthday! Kuma can't help himself being a border collie. He always tries to hurt Cookie. My dogs are having a great time this morning, and it's time to return to the house for breakfast. I made some kimchi jjigae the other day, and I'm having jjigae and rice for a simple breakfast. These are the meds I take in the morning every day. Multivitamins, vitamin D, my anxiety medication, and my depression medication. Then I check my YouTube, but due to my slacking, I've lost quite a few subscribers, but it's okay. I guess I deserve it. I see all these comments that you guys left, and now I'm responding to each one of them. When I read your comments, it makes me so happy. I'm suddenly not feeling well, so I decided to lie down, relax, and let go of all these crazy thoughts in my head. My doughs are a huge help whenever it happens because they just stay beside me and help me calm down. What do you want with Paige? When I'm depressed, my place becomes a huge mess. I just don't feel like doing anything. But today, I really need to get up and start cleaning the house. It's just hard to get to it when I'm depressed, but once I start and finish it, it's so rewarding and it actually makes me feel so much better. It definitely helps with my depression and anxiety. The house is too quiet, so I decide to listen to music. I did it! My place is somewhat cleaner. And it's time to go pick up groceries. 
I don't feel like getting out and being around strangers today, so I used the pickup service instead. Then I went to Petsmart across the street just to grab this one thing. This will be on top of Kuma's birthday cake instead of candles. I put away all the groceries that I bought and I'm about to prepare lunch for myself. Today I'm eating Beyond Me, a vegan steak. And I'll also get a salad with the QP sesame dressing. This is so good. Okay, so I'm very skeptical about this vegan steak. It's my first time trying it. It looks and smells almost like regular meat. But I'm looking for a teriyaki type of meal. And I've been in love with this Japanese barbecue sauce. And today I will use yuzu flavor. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's time to dig in. The salad with the QP dressing taste is so lovely. And the meat wasn't bad at all. I was actually very shocked. This is the highlight of the day. Let's make Kuma's birthday cake. I will mix flour and baking soda and lightly mix them together. Then I mix vegetable oil and unsweetened, unsalted peanut butter and pumpkin puree. But make sure the ingredients are pure pumpkin, no additives. Same for the applesauce. Make sure it's unsweetened and no additives. I'm gonna add an egg and stir well together. Combine the mixture with the flour and baking soda and stir it thoroughly. I'm using this regular cake pan today, but you can use any kind of baking pan or baking sheet that you desire. Coat with the butter around the rim and pour the cake batter in. We'll bake this for about 30 minutes. Now let's prepare icing. I'm mixing a cup of Greek yogurt and make sure it's unsweetened and non-fat. And I'm adding a generous amount of peanut butter. Well, I had to taste it. It was very bland uh, but healthy flavor like I imagined. The cake is all done. The kitchen is off limit for the dogs, but I guess they can smell the cake. They keep coming around. Get out of my kitchen, go. I got impatient and tried to take the cake out of the pan before it cooled down, so it's messy on the top. I tasted a little crumble and it was alright. Tastes like something that my dogs would enjoy. The cake has cooled down and I'm gonna put icing on it. You can put the icing however you want. You can do it just on top or cover the whole cake like I do. It's totally up to you. I'm trying to make it look nice and flat. I'll decorate with some dry fruit and veggies and also use this pork and potato wet food for decoration. I'm gonna break up the kibbles to use them as well. Now, this cake will stay in the fridge until the evening. As you can tell from my facial expression, I feel worse as the day passes. I'm just really depressed and sad for no reason. I just can't stop tearing up and trying to do something else to keep my mind off of things. And I broke down. I couldn't help it. What bothers me the most when a situation like this happens is that I don't know why I'm feeling this way, but I keep telling myself it's okay to feel this way because this too shall pass. Check out this cake that I made for Kuma. He just turned 10 today. Cookie, 
Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kuma. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Time to slice some pieces. My fur babies are gonna have cake for dinner tonight. Looks delicious, huh? They loved it. My husband craved some Mexican food for dinner, so we got some cebolitas asadas, which is grilled spring onions. I got one taco, and of course, Javi got his burrito. The yellow salsa is muy picante. It's extra spicy. I can't. It's way too spicy for me, and it's made with a habanero. So this is it for my vlog today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will return with another video soon. Until then, peace!